The sole survivor of a plane crash in Bryan, Texas, reaches a huge milestone. He has spent the past year in rehabilitation, trying to and struggling to recover from a severe traumatic brain injury. But on the one year anniversary of the crash that will change his life forever, he heads back into class to finish his senior year. Luke Armstrong is alive. Some days he can hardly believe it, but sure cherishes it. I think it, it was really hard to be sad because it there was just so much overwhelming like thankfulness. Yes, of course. The fact that I live. There was, a, I mean, I'll, I'll admit, there was a ton of me wondering, you know, well, why me? Luke was the only one to live through the small plane crash on August 30th, 2020. It went down shortly after takeoff at Coulterfield Airport in Bryan, claiming the lives of his girlfriend and her parents. I don't really remember anything after I got in the plane. I was, I know that I was the first one to get on the plane. Uh, I know where everybody was sitting. Um, but that's about it. Billy Boyd called 911 after witnessing the crash, found Luke and stayed with him until help arrived. Medics rushed him by helicopter to a hospital only a few minutes away. I was in four weeks in the ICU in College Station. Then Luke was transferred to Tier Memorial Hermann in Houston, where he would spend another three weeks relearning important life skills. So what um, what were some of your biggest deficits? What were you really having to work through with, with all of that rehab? Um, <laughs> anything the brain is supposed to do. <laughs> so eat, <laughs> talk, walk, everything. Yes. Uh, so I, I had my jaw wired shut, um, cause I broke my jaw in three places. Um, the, o, the oral maxillofacial surgeon said you broke every bone in your face, except your nose. A lot of pain involved with his broken face and crushed skull, but Luke went on to complete his rehabilitation at the Center for Neuroskills in the Dallas area for seven more months. But his vision was significantly involved and impaired. And so when he came to me and said, I wanna be able to drive again, I wanna be able to you know, go back to school and work and these things, um, you know, those are the, the highest level of a, you know, that a person can engage in. And so, you need your eyes for, especially for the driving portion. And so, you know, hearing that and then seeing and knowing the level of deficit, the, my first thought was, this is not going to happen. Val was thrilled that Luke beat the odds and she's proud of his progress. He is one of those patients that you would give him a home exercise program and you tell him, do this one hour a day, every day. And he goes in and he'll do five hours a day, every day. Um, but, you know, because that's how badly he wanted to get his life back. That's how badly he wanted to achieve his goals. And it makes a huge difference. The hard work did pay off. Luke got to head back to his studies at Texas A&M last January. I had to go through uh, the, the disability services at A&M, um, primarily for vision. Um, and, doing, and at that point, I was still very early in doing my vision therapy regimen. And so um, really anything that required visual attention and visual memory and focus, reading, stuff like that was very difficult. Luke has made even more progress, now cherishing things more than ever, like college football at Kyle Field. On the one year anniversary of the crash that changed his life forever, Kyle got to begin his last semester of college. In my eyes, uh, it's, it's pretty, picture perfect that the anniversary of the accident was the first day of class. You know, I was focused on um, moving moving onward and upward and, and forward. And, you know, also, of course, reflecting on the loss. Uh, obviously, Texas A&M was a very special place, both for Victoria and I. We went to everything together, you know, in our time here. Um, and so, you know, there was obviously a lot of, you know, emotions there. Luke recently reunited with the first responders who helped save his life. He's thankful for the entire team who helped him rebuild his mind and body. But not everybody lives before they die. And I get to live again. Luke says he owes it to his beloved late girlfriend and her family to live life to the fullest and carry on their legacy.
What a strong young man. He will graduate in December, and he says he will do that in honor of his Victoria. All right, we still don't know the cause of the investigation either. Still underway, it could take another year before they figure that out.